Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five manufacturing engineer interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, what is your experience leading cost reduction activities? Identifying and leading cost reduction activities will almost certainly be expected tasks for manufacturing engineers. It is important to demonstrate an understanding of cost reduction initiatives and show that implementing them requires an analytical approach. Explaining pertinent details of your experience will help illustrate these points. This is a good opportunity to sell your experience and show that you possess some business knowledge. At my last company, I was tasked with leading all cost reduction initiatives in the stamping department. In fiscal year 2019, we implemented over 2 million worth of cost reductions, some of which were related to capital projects, which I directly led. Others were low cost caissons that I facilitated with the team. Our most successful project was a labor balancing activity that we completed as part of a caisson event. This activity required almost no capital investment and saved approximately 500,000 a year in labor. Question two, what are your greatest strengths? Tell the interviewer one of your strengths that makes you a strong candidate for the position by relating to the job requirements. Read the job description to get a sense of your daily job duties and who you will be communicating with. My greatest strength is my ability to see the big picture. I enjoy the challenge of figuring out the details of how to achieve a high level goal by looking at the smaller day-to-day -day steps. As a manufacturing engineer, I look forward to using my strengths to improve overall plant production through my projects, whether they are smaller maintenance projects or larger capital improvement projects. Question number three, do you have any previous safety training? As a manufacturing engineer, you will probably have to go through safety training. This may include OSHA 40 hour Hazwopper training, OSHA 10 hour training, or facility specific training. In your answer to this question, Tell the interviewer if you have completed this training before and affirm your commitment to safety. Last summer, I worked for a construction company and I had to get my OSHA 40 hour certification. I know that I'll have to renew the certification when I get started here. Safety is important to me and I always wear the appropriate PPE. I wanna make sure my coworkers and I go home at the end of the day. What facility specific training do you provide? Question number four, tell me about a time when you had to work under pressure. The position of manufacturing engineer will probably require you to handle more than one project at a time. It will also involve working in plants which can be noisy, dirty, and often are not temperature controlled. The interviewer is asking if you know how to manage being in a stressful environment. Focus your answer on showing how you took action to manage the pressure caused by an external situation. In my last position, I was a quality engineer in the automotive industry, responsible for day-to-day -day production. At one point, I was responsible for adjusting a jig that was screwing on car doors incorrectly. I was nervous because the whole line was stopped due to this one jig and it was up to me to get it going again. The key here was verification. After adjusting the jig, I watched a couple car doors go through to make sure the fix was working correctly. Soon after, the line was up and running again and I was relieved. Question number five. A team member approaches you and advises you that a piece of equipment you have installed is not functioning correctly. How do you proceed? This will be a common occurrence in almost every manufacturing engineer's career. An engineer must show that they are willing and able to utilize feedback from the shop floor to solve problems and make improvements. Sometimes the feedback offered will be incorrect or not constructive, but it is imperative that the manufacturing engineer does not automatically assume this is the case. Provide examples of any time you have gotten feedback like this and what you did to correct the issue. When someone tells me that a piece of equipment is not functioning correctly, the first thing I do is to ask them to show me the problem. I will go to the area in question with that individual and ask them to talk me through the problem. If the problem isn't something that is easily observable, say an intermittent failure, then I will ask if there's any way to narrow down the problem. If all else fails, then I will ask for them to wait for the problem to occur and then call me directly so I can come and help troubleshoot the issue. This happened to me recently with a robotic packing cell that I had installed. 
the machine would alarm and stop intermittently, which required a team member to reset the machine. I wasn't aware of the problem until a team member told me about it. After asking the team member some questions and doing some investigation, we realized that an overcurrent limit was set incorrectly on the robot. I asked a technician to correct the limit in the robot settings and the problem hasn't happened since. Thank you for watching. If you want to continue practicing for your manufacturing engineer interview, click our link below or head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.